Okay, let's talk about AP Calculus. Now, you're definitely going to have to be able to handle a problem like this in order to be able to score a 5 on the AP Calculus exam. But, uh, you know, even if you can't do this problem, just use it as feedback so you can improve your calculus before you go ahead and take that advanced placement uh, calculus exam. Now, I have to say, I mean, I'm kind of directing this video towards, I'm assuming the other person on the end of this video, uh, you know, that you're a student and you're an AP calculus. So you're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm trying to review so you can actually get a top score and get full credit for AP calculus. So just by virtue of you being at this level of math, you're already, you know, quite successful in mathematics. So um, anyways, I think this is a fairly a basic level type of problem. So let's take a look at the problem and then I'm going to get into it in just one second. So we have a, a function here. Uh, well, it's y equals x cubed times cosine 2x and we want to take the first derivative. We want to find y prime or dy dx of this uh, equation right here okay, or function. It doesn't make a difference how we want to think about it. We want to find that first derivative. So uh, that is the goal of this video. Now, if you think you can do this, hopefully you can, you know, and if you need to, well, I'm not sure on the AP Calculus uh, exam, you're definitely not going to be able to use your notes. So I wouldn't encourage you to look at any of your notes. Just try to go by memory first and then, uh, you know, but this is pretty fundamental, basic uh, calculus stuff. And hopefully you won't find this too difficult, but go and pause the video and give it a try. Matter of fact, put your answer in the um, uh, comment section. That'd be pretty cool. But I want to get into exactly how we do this problem in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And um, I basically have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus so uh, and everything else in between. So you are beyond, if you're in calculus, beyond what uh, courses I have to offer. But I love to uh, teach math at all various levels. Uh, but just a heads up, maybe you got a younger brother or sister that needs help in their math course, they can use my math program. I also have a ton of test prep um, courses, uh, but I don't have AP Calculus. That's beyond what I teach, but I do have other exams that you might be interested in. And if you homeschool, and uh, it's likely you're not homeschooling because you can't take the, an AP calculus course. Maybe you can. I couldn't be wrong about this. But anyways, if you are, uh, if you do homeschool, I have a great homeschool math program. And then I offer uh, math notes. I don't have calculus notes at this point. But uh, all this stuff, my math uh, help program and my notes, you can find the links to all those in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this. We want to go ahead and find the first derivative, dy dx, of this right here. So if you want to get into it, go ahead and pause the video because I'm going to get into the solution right now. Okay, so what's the situation? Well, we have to recognize uh, what we need to do here, okay? And hopefully you saw that we're dealing with a product. This is x cubed times cosine 2x, okay? So in uh, calculus, we have a ton of different rules, as you know, uh, in terms of uh, integration and taking uh, differentiation. So uh, we have a product here, okay? That's the first thing you need to recognize. So you're like, oh, product, two things uh, being multiplied by one another, so I'm going to need that product rule, okay? So that's the first thing uh, that should come to mind. Now, different ways you can write these rules, but per, uh, this is a pretty easy way of uh, doing this. So uh, two functions, f and g, so you can think of this as f and g. Uh, and we're going to take the first derivative of those functions. So a product, f times g, this is a product. Okay, we're taking the first derivative of that. We take the uh, derivative of the first, multiplied by that second function, plus that first function times the derivative of the second function. So it's pretty self-explanatory here. So we're going to need to know how to take the derivative, first derivative of this, and the first derivative of this. And the way we would write that is this way, because okay, it's the notation for the derivative of x cubed. And this is the notation for the derivative, first derivative of cosine 2x. Okay, so I'm um, kind of already kind of set this up for you. So you need to go ahead and ask yourself, can you find the derivative of these two things? Now, hopefully you can, because if you can, just go ahead and plug all, you know, the uh, answers right into this. I mean, so we're talking basic algebra here. Okay, so this is the whole kind of ball wax in this problem. Got to be able to find the derivative of this and you got to be able to find the derivative of this. And here is the product rule. So this is everything you need to know. Now, if you can't find the derivative of these um, uh, functions right here, 
Well, you know, you're going to have to brush up on uh, whatever you need to brush up on. I suspect that if you're going to make an error, if, uh, uh, it's going to be right in here. Okay, so I'm just going to be uh, tell you, be extra cautious when you take the a derivative of cosine 2x. So a lot of you are out there who are like, maybe like, hmm, okay, what is this guy talking about? Well, hopefully... Uh, you know, you won't make a mistake, but I bet you a lot of you might may make an error. Okay, right in here. All right, so let's get into it and let's see the solution. Okay, so here it is. Here's our problem. Here is why. Uh, a lot of different ways. You know, in calculus, there's lots of different notation we can use. So we want to find y prime or the first derivative dy dx. Uh, and again, here is the product rule. All right, so here I'm going to take. Uh, let me go to race this here. All right, so uh, I'm just going to follow the product rule. Uh, the derivative, uh, first derivative of that first function, x cubed, that's this, okay? And I'm just going to multiply by the sec second function, that's cosine 2x. You can see that there. And then I'm going to add that first function, okay? Again, it's x cubed. And I want to multiply it by the derivative of the second function, which is cosine 2x. So you should write this out for sure when you're doing this. Okay, so here is the product uh, rule all set up for us. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just start. Let's take the derivative, first derivative of x cubed. Super easy. And um, I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of you out there at this level, AP Calculus, can find the derivative of x cubed. Okay, so the first derivative is going to be 3x squared. I'm not going to explain that, but I, well, let me just explain that. You take that power, that exponent, multiply it by 1. That's 3, and then we're going to go down by 1. Okay, so again, lots of rules when it comes to differentiation, but I bet you most of you out there got that right. Okay, so there is our answer, 3x squared. Uh, times that other function, which is cosine 2x. So we're, we're good to go on this part of the product rule. Okay, we we're able to do that, and no problem. Okay, so this is the second uh, part of the product rule. We're taking that first uh, function, which is x cubed, but now i got to find the derivative of that cosine 2x. So let's focus in on that. Okay, so here's the setup again. Uh, I just completed that first part of the product rule, and you just need to find the derivative of cosine 2x. Now, let's uh, think about just the derivative of cosine. What's the first derivative of cosine, okay? Well, that is equal to negative sine x. So if you remember that, that's excellent. But we're not dealing with uh, cosine x. We're dealing with cosine 2x. So you got to be very careful here. So the derivative of cosine 2x is going to be equal to negative sine 2x. Okay, this is 2x. That's the function, so it's going to be negative sine 2x, but we have to multiply that by 2. So 2x is that inner function right here. Okay, so I have to take the derivative again. Okay, so this is this is where I'm thinking that a lot of you, I would say, well, um, many of you probably wrote negative uh, sine 2x, which is good, but I would say a lot of you probably forgot that too. Okay, it's a pretty common mistake, I bet in uh, calculus, but uh, anyways, the total or the, the complete derivative, uh, first derivative of cosine 2x is negative 2, okay, because we have the negative sign, negative 2 sine 2x, all right? Okay, so now that we know that, we can go ahead and plug that in, okay, into, we just found the first derivative of that um, cosine 2x, okay, right here, and I'm going to plug that in right here. That's going to be negative 2 sine 2x. And so here we go. Okay, we just pretty much um, got dy dx. This is the first part of that product rule. 3x squared times cosine 2x plus our other function, x cubed, times negative 2 sine 2x. And we clean that up, just negative 2 times that x cubed. We can write it this way just to keep our answer nice and neat. And... Um, by the way, too, if you have, if you took, sometimes the product rule is written differently. You can have this term, that expression first, and this expression second. doesn't make a difference. It is correct, but this is dy dx. Okay, so if you got this right, and um, hopefully most of you out there got this right, I must go ahead and give you a happy face with a good old 1985 flat top haircut and an A+, plus, and hopefully you get that 5 on your AP exam. That's pretty awesome, okay? So, uh, again, uh, there's going to be far more challenging problems on your AP calculus exam than this, but, you know, we just 
want to start at some basic level. I'm going to try to continue to um, post more um, calculus videos if you think you like my teaching style. But, um, you know, calculus is a broad subject, huge, very, very important, and an awesome subject at that. So, you know, I want to congratulate you just for the fact, the mere fact that you're even at this level in terms of your mathematics. And I know it's a couple of things that I, you know, I can already tell, okay, about you. One, that you're very good in math, and two, that you probably have an interest in it. And I would say keep going, keep going, you know, keep learning as much math as you possibly can. But uh, hopefully you can get that five or even a four, even a three, as long as you pass this AP calculus exam. That is impressive. So if this video helps you out in some small way, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics. I'm going to try to post more advanced videos like this. Okay, so you'll want to subscribe and stay tuned uh, to my uh, content. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the AP calculus exam. I hope you do get that five. Uh, thank you for your time and have a great day.